Okay, we're given a table that represents a function in two variables, x and y. So with this table, what we want to do is estimate the value of the partial derivative of f with respect to x at 1, 2. So this is a little bit different than when you may be thinking, okay, well, I know how to find f of 1, 2. I line up an x value of 1 and a y value of 2, and I just get 3.97 in this case. So that's part of this problem. But when we're thinking about a partial derivative, we're thinking about um, basically saying what's the rate of change when our x values are allowed to change but our other variables are not. So when I say the other variables are not, what I'm saying is our y value has to be stuck here right at 2. But our x value, it was at 1, we can move that around and pick some values that are close to 1. We can say 0. We can evaluate this function, f of 0. 2. It's going to be at 0, 2 goes with 3.33. Now as we're thinking about this, our y values are the exact same on both of these. We want to know what's the rate of change. Well, what we want to do is think about our output values, 3.97 minus 3.33 divided by what changed here was our x values also. So 1 was associated with a 3.97 minus 0 associated with a 3.33. And then as we reduce this down, we're going to get 0 0.64 divided by 1, or 0 0.64. Now we could have gone the other direction as well. We could have increased our x value and moved it up here to 2. So picking that value out, 2, 2 goes along with, let me see, f of 2, 2, goes along with an output value of 7.73. All right, so for our next computation, what I'm going to do is use the one we really care about, f of 1, 2, and the next higher one, the f of 2, 2. And again, it's kind of the same sort of computation, 7.73, the output, minus 3.97, that output, divided by 2 minus 1, our x values here in the denominator. Now as we work this out, we get 3.76 divided by 1, or 3.76. All right, both of these are estimations, but we could probably get a better estimation if we took the average between these two. So if I go ahead and add together 0.64 plus 3.76, we'll just divide that by 2 to take their average, and we get 2.2. Any one of these three solutions that I put over on the right-hand side, uh, the My Open Math homework should accept any one of these as far as being correct answers. So I hope this helps out as you're working on partial derivatives. Uh, with this one, with respect to x, if it was with respect to y, our y values could change. Pick the, the columns that are close to the, the one you care about. All right, hope this helps. Good luck.